noticed uh, this broad trend uh, five years ago where businesses were wanting to do more and more with the data, but there was a huge dearth in terms of professionals who understood what it takes to, what, what it takes to take data and convert them into insights or recommendations or, or something of business value, uh, right? There are, uh, there, there are a wide variety of ways in which data can be used and it can power various operations. But there, there's a huge gap in this, in terms of know-how, in terms of uh, know-how from a people perspective, uh, in terms of uh, uh, being able to crunch volumes of data at a certain scale, at a certain pace, uh, name it, right? You, all, all kinds of complexities existed. So when we started Tiger Analytics, it was we wanted to address this need in the market. Now, can we build a company which can help client organizations bridge this gap, take uh, take this journey from where they are as, as a digital company, but not having fully realized the, the, the benefits they can gain from the digitization, which is primarily on the analytics front. Right? So that, that's been, uh, that was the start of uh, uh, Tiger Analytics. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll probably recount one of our uh, early engagements because it, it ties in very closely with what Mohan was saying uh, on, on the example of the airlines. So we were working with um, uh, a client of ours. Uh, this, this is, so they manage railways, all the railroads in Canada, Mexico, and the US, the North American continent, uh, right? So one of the biggest expenses of a, of a railway company, uh, believe it or not, is the wheels, uh, right? So just like any other component, the wheels run for a while, and not they're damaged, they need to be replaced, etc. cetera. Um, so, the biggest expense that they have is replacing the wheels. Now, how do you figure that a wheel has gone bad? Uh, right? Imagine if you don't have the right system in place uh, and no, uh, like a wheel completely fails in the middle of nowhere and the train is stuck there, imagine the kind of effort it takes to uh, you know, get, get the train you know, back to where it ought to be, kind of disruption it will cause. So what, what uh, this, was, this was a very basic problem to solve. So the way people solved it was they embedded sensors at various places on you know, hundreds, of, hundreds of thousands of miles of railroads. They embedded sensors at various places, right? So whenever a train passes on it, it would emit a signal saying, you know, which direction a train is passing, what speed, what load, uh, what not, right? So, the, and the industry set standards saying that if a reading goes beyond a certain threshold, just, you know, uh, at the next possible uh, station, repair station, pause the train, and then replace the wheel because it might fail. Right? These are industry standards. Then our client had a unique problem was that they said sometimes it's not the wheels that are failing, it's the sensors that are failing, uh, right? So sometimes, you know, it's probably like a, like a drunk sensor or something. It is, uh, it just for perfectly healthy wheels, it's giving readings saying, you know, they're out of whack and now you just need to replace that. And by rule, doesn't matter what kind of a sensor it is, because it's public safety at uh, hand. If it exceeds a limit, you need to change the uh, wheel, no matter what you know. I'm just pouring millions of dollars down the drain, but you have to do it if the sensor reads, right? So, how do you uh, how do you know if a sensor has gone bad? Uh, if you late, if you wait till a whole train's worth of wheels have been changed, you've already you know, lost a lot of money, right? So the problem here was, how do you use this data in advance before even uh, you know, such damage is caused to predict if a sensor itself has gone bad, right? So, so we, this, this is a huge problem. This is one of our, our, our first problems as a company we worked on. So that's why it's, uh, I remember the, the details of, uh, of, how we, of how we solved it. Uh, but we had come up uh, with, uh, an, with an algorithm to do this. So today, uh, what, what this algorithm does is every single sensor in the North American uh, continent, when it emits data from the passing of a rail, it passes through this, and it analyzes the data, comparing it to uh, various, uh, uh, you know, the, whatever framework we develop, uh, to alert, say, uh, to alert uh, the engineers on the client side saying, you know, look, this is a dodgy behaving sensor. It's looking fine for now, but very soon it will cause you some trouble. So you better you know, go in there because that might be in the middle of you know, nowhere. Right? Someone will need to go and uh, fix that. So this was, uh, 
So, an industry as uh, not, it's, it's not the fitness industry, it's not the tech industry, but it's something really core, you know, railways, cargo, shipping, right? Now, these are, it's, uh, analytics is making inroads in, in various, uh, you know, ways which you, you know, which we hadn't thought of in, in things like this.